Hi guys, welcome to Wicked Wednesday with Leslie Desi. So I bring this to you because as you know, it's spooky season and I wanted to make something for my favorite month. So what I'm gonna do is tell you, tell you, tell you stories, legends, stuff. <laughs> So, um, first, before we get to it, um, they gifted me this shirt, Coraline, for my birthday. Without further ado, let's go with the intro. inspiration from Billy Sarian with makeup no makeup no murder mystery oh, murder mystery and makeup Monday shana sha, shana sha, shana sha, sha, shana sha. if you guys don't know her I'll link her down below like what are you doing like you need to see her videos anyways so again I'm doing another Coraline inspiration video sorry sorry technical difficulties <laughs> okay so I'm doing another Coraline ins inspired makeup because besides the shirt that they gift me on my birthday cuñada also gifted me this beauty right here is it that beautiful Okay, so I'm gonna be using this right here and I'm gonna do another Coraline inspired makeup. And the story I bring to you guys today. Dun, 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 dun. Okay, so my boyfriend was raised in Guatemala, so he has a couple of legends from over there. Today I will be talking about two of them. But first of all, I'm going to go ahead and do my eyebrows because that kind of takes a long time. Okay, I'll be back. Okay, and we are back. <laughs> That's kind okay, of scary. So the story we're talking about today is La Leyenda de la Sinawapa. Wait, Siwanawa. There we go. See what now? There is a couple of stories, versions that they tell. One of them being that there was this lady, she had barely turned 18. So, technically, a child almost. Well, not technically, because 18 is already an adult. But she was 18 and um, she was in love with this man, right? And she, they were kind of forcing her to marry this older dude this 40 year old dude Wakalas. so she didn't want it because she was in love with another person so the guy found out the older dude and he decided to kill her lover he drowned the poor dude well, obviously the the girl was really sad i mean who wouldn't right and so the older dude cursed her to be one of the ugliest women and made her old but i'm not giving too much detail about this and i'm just giving a brief touch to it because it's not the version i'm going to be talking about today today i'll be talking about another version the version i'll be talking about is the following siwewit was a beautiful woman with long soft black hair she had a secret romance with the son of god with marvin please i'm busy here she had a romance with the son of of god Tlaluk. Tlaluk. i think that's how you say it the god Glad Luke. This god 
is um, someone that the Mayans believed in. So if you guys don't know, before Spaniards came in with their beliefs and Catholic and Christian and blah blah blah, there was Mayans, okay? Ooh, that's a god that they believed in. Okay, anyways. Um, she had a secret romance with his son and she ended up pregnant and having his baby. She used to leave him alone to go and, you know, with her lover and, you know, do the nasty thing. Which, come on girls, if you guys do that at this time and age when there's a lot of options, you know, plan B, condoms, birth control, abortion, if you do believe in that, which I do, your body, your decision. If you girls do that and leave your baby, there's also adoption, I don't know if I said that, which that's kind of sad because if you don't know, a lot of children don't get adopted, they just stay in the system. If you girls do that, that's fucked up, you do, fucked up, you deserve to go to hell to be honest it's not like i believe in hell but you got my point she used to leave her baby alone a lot of times to go and you know do the dirty with her lover the god Tlaluk. Tlaluk, um found out about this secret romance and also about her leaving her poor baby alone he got pissed i mean who wouldn't also okay we're not talking about the father in this situation. I don't know what happened. There. Okay. You guys are leaving your guys' child alone. So you guys could fuck. And you're the son of God. Or one of the gods. Like, I mean, you were having a secret affair with this lady. Take care of your children first. First of all, if you did have a, a, a children. It's a decision between two people, not just one. Like, you can all make a baby without two people. To be exact, a female and a male. Anyways, before I got interrupted, I was telling you guys. Okay, so the god found out. He was pissed. Pissed. Which I would be too. I mean, I am. And it's a legend. He cursed Siwawet calling her her Siwanaba. Siwanaba means ugly woman. She would be so I mean yeah God cursed her so she would be pretty at first glance and but then when you take a look at her and she gets close she is an ugly old woman. Hi my love. Hey. Bye my love. Still yeah I couldn't find the color that I needed in this palette so I'm gonna use this palette your first star i know he's a very polarized person here on the internet but i do like his makeup i don't like the personality that he is but i do like his makeup this one and this other smaller palette is the only one i bought from him and i'm not gonna buy any more from him but anyways, <laughs> enough of a rant. Okay, so um, I'm gonna use this one, Ranch. This white one, cause I there's not there's a glittery one, but it's gold. Kinda. I don't really like gold, <laughs> and I feel like the makeup is gonna go better with like whiter. As I was saying, she got cursed. The god got got her like he cursed her to be an ugly woman because you know before she was a beautiful woman with long black hair i feel like in america latina like mexico guatemala Salvador, blah 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 um having long black hair and a lot is kind of like the thing she still kept that <laughs> So at first glance, you saw her and she was beautiful. That's why, because she had a long hair. He doomed her to wander around the fields of the town with her old ugly face. Look at this. <laughs> she now appears to men who travel alone through the night. 
It's also said that she appears in the rivers of Guatemala washing her hair or her clothes. She also she also spends her time looking for her son Sipitio. Yeah, Sipitio. Which the god blessed him with um, eternal beauty to continue um, to continue to make um, Siwa Wit pay because you know he made her ugly and he made her son beautiful which um, okay that's great because you know he kind of suffered but what about the son? Nothing in the story says nothing about the son. And he is also at fault. I mean, maybe because it's his son, he didn't do anything to him. But oh, come on. That's what I keep saying. When you make a baby, you decide between... You make this decision. Two people have to make this decision to go on and, you know, fuck. Unless there's um, sad situations where you actually don't really do have. But it seemed like it was both consensual. Both of them were deciding to fuck and to have a baby. <laughs> so people say that she seduces men in the town, especially unfaithful guys, which that's kind of a plus for her. <laughs> I'm sorry, I have to give um, points where there is. I don't know what I'm trying to say. I'm still nervous, okay? Give me a break. So she goes off to seduce men, especially men who are unfaithful, unfaithful and aggressive. So, machismo. How do you say machismo in English? I have no idea. I don't know what I'm doing. Continue with my, um, to put on foundation. <laughs> Sorry, you guys hear my mocos. I told you guys since the beginning that this was going to be a Spanglish. Like, my first language is not uh, English, so sometimes I forget words. How can I open this? Dang. Okay. Yay. After she seduces these men, she reveals her real face, and obviously it's not a pretty face like the men thought she had. Um, her real face... Dun 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 dun. I'm gonna tell you guys what's her actual real face. I forgot part of my makeup at work, so I'm kind of struggling here. And I had to go yesterday to Ulta. Somebody gifted me. I, I feel like I'm going side, like sidetrack for everything. But <laughs> so they gifted me a $50 Ulta gift card. So yesterday I went and go get what I was missing, which it was few stuff because I do have most of my makeup here and then I usually have like two foundations, two blah blah blah, and like my best foundation, I don't use it daily, which is this one. I love this one. I use a Tarte one, which it was my favorite until I got this one. Okay, so she reveals her face to these men. And her face is a, is a horse's skull. So you can imagine a horse's skull with her big long hair. Isn't that scary? So scary. She proceeds to kill them. Which the dudes who are faithful, you know, because she does go for all men, but especially unfaithful. But she still does go for all men. Which, those men, like, did they do wrong, you know? I don't know. I dislike people who are like, fuck all men, blah, 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 blah. I'm like, fuck all men or fuck the men that you have been with, girl. Because, um, I'm not saying we're all perfect, you know? We have done mistakes and shit. All of us. We are humans at the end of the day. Like I was saying, I'm not saying that everybody's perfect or that all men are perfect or all women are perfect because definitely not, that's not the case. Like we are humans, 
I'm not saying that my boyfriend is perfect, that I know how to choose, but also I'm not like, fuck all men. I kind of used to be like that, but, which I was not even, I had not even had like a relationship to be like, fuck all men, blah, 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 blah. Let me finish patting this thing and then I'll come back and tell you the next story. Am I a good story? No, I'm a horrible storyteller. I get sidetracked for everything. Like, everything I tell you guys, I get sidetracked. <laughs> I'll get better at that. I'll promise that I'll... The next story, I'll try not to get too sidetracked. I, I like this next story. I feel like there's more details to it. Okay, let me finish just patting this in and then I'll come back. This uh, next story is titled El Sombrero. Juan Bayona lived in the town of Antigua, Guatemala in the late 1800s. He was incarcerated for a crime he had committed. He was waiting for his sentence when he got frustrated and he wrote a letter. They say that this letter was so scary and hunting that they kind of got scared. They thought he was writing to the devil or something the judge got a got hold of this letter and he sentenced him to go to church every sunday and to wear this big hat sombrero that's what we call it el sombrero <laughs> so he had to wear this big sombrero which it was so big it kind of looked like bat wings bat wings <laughs> It kind of looked like bat wings. People from the town would make fun of him because he was a short dude with a huge sombrero. So people from the town would make fun of him. Which it didn't say what um, crime he committed, but if he wasn't sentenced to a big thing, probably he didn't do like, you know, something huge. So poor dude, he was made fun of. <laughs> The town. If you guys have not lived in a small town, it's kind of like middle school. There's rumors that start and then the whole school knows. The whole town knows, you know? So when a rumor starts, everybody knows about it. If you make like if you make fun of somebody, everybody knows about it. So all the town used to make fun of him, especially people who went to church because they would see him every Sunday. One Sunday, um, Juan did not go to church. They were like, what? He's always here. I mean, he was sentenced to come to church every single Sunday. So they were like, what? So they eventually found his body in one of the streets of the town. And, um, it kind of felt like it was been there for a long time because it says that it was really cold i mean i don't know how long does it take for your body to get cold when you die so after juan's death people started feeling bad because they used to make fun of him a lot well, they started going to church and talking to the priest to be forgiven for making fun of um juan you know poor juan I, don't, I mean, I do want to know what type of crime did he do, but I couldn't find anywhere. Um, this story also has a bunch of different versions of it. When I searched it up, I said the true version of El Sombrerón. La verdadera versión del Sombrerón. Is it? I don't know. Okay, so I went ahead and did a circle here because I'm going to turn it into a button. Where was I with the story? Okay, so people were feeling bad about talking shit about about um, Juan with, you know, he was a short man with a huge um, with a huge sombrero. So they started going to the priest and like, you know, saying that they were sorry for talking shit about El um, Juan, but it was not enough for Juan's spirit to live peacefully. So 
his spirit wanders around the town. Now Juan scares all these people. His spirit, um, Juan's spirit, I mean, goes around and scares all these people. And he also seduces a woman. Yes. Juanito, Juanito. Quien te viera. Goloso. Juanito salió goloso, güey. He goes and seduces this woman. Now, Juanito, when he was alive, he, he used to love braiding. He used to braid horses. So, um, he loves braids. And he also likes seeing women in braids. As I said before, usually, like, the thing for Latino America, Mexico, blah, 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 for them is, like, the long black hair. So Juanito, when he used to hit on these girls, he used to braid their hair. So he would get the most beautiful woman in town. Juanito knew. He knew. He knew something. Is it Juanito? I think his. I think it's going even better in his death than being alive. You know. <laughs> Juanito. Anyways, so Juanito used to get the most beautiful woman and braid their hair when they used to go to sleep so if you would go to sleep and w woke up with your hair braided that meant that juanito is after you you i feel like you have to be like a little like oh because as i'm saying like juanito only went for a beautiful woman so i feel like you would have been like oh shit i'm beautiful but at the same time like a ghost going after you hmm. i don't know i don't know about that if you go to guatemala and you go to sleep and you wake up with braided hair be careful juanita's going after you and he's going after your bones <laughs> <laughs> oh that sounded so wicked so guys that is all for me today i'm not done yet with my makeup so let's have a small conversation i mean i just said that's all for me today but that's all the stories i have for you today i usually don't use this browser so i feel like it's not my color i forgot my bronzer at work let's talk about these stories that i just told I like the second one because it had a lot more details in my opinion. Maybe I'm not a good storyteller. Storyteller. Maybe you guys did not quite understand what I was saying. But I got, ooh, sorry. <laughs> I actually really like the second story. And then the first story, I, I kind of feel like it's scary. It's also unfair because it never says what happened to God's Tlaluk son like did he go on and became a god does that happen is it like the queen and kings like you pass on because i mean aren't gods forever well that's my question like what happened to the sun okay sabes que le pasó al hijo del dios de que dios del dios de la historia oh that look Mm -hmm. The son of uh, the, the Hijo of Tarduk? I do not know. I can check because um, technically on the, on the Mayan, uh, well, there's a book called Popol Vuh. I think I have it here. Here it is. El Popol Vuh. This. This technically explains right here. This book, gentlemen, is a really old book. Right here. Ladies and gentlemen, this book, whatever, like, whatever you want to be, uh, explains a lot when it comes to um, a lot of mind history story short he doesn't know what happened <laughs> el del sombrerero la historia del sombrerero i just i want to know what did he do like if it was something really 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 bad like because i understand there's bad people and then there's good people that make bad decisions so i would want to know like what crime did he do you know did he really deserve to be made fun of because i feel like if he would have done a big crime 
okay marvin wants to be in the video i feel like if he would have done a big crime he would have stayed in jail right he would have paid his sentence instead of going to church now he is um gozando de la muerte you know because that dude is having some fun with woman you know what i mean okay so i was not able to do the put on the waterline with this yellow right here so i'm gonna try with this yellow and if you guys have non not non if you guys have not heard about uh this brand is called makeup a murder and it sells you like the eyeshadow and this little <laughs> it shows you uh, eyeshadow in this little um container so it's um polvito and then you could just use it as an eyeliner or you could add this liquid and do it kind of like did i say eyeliner you could use it as eyeshadow and then or use this liquid and use it as eyeliner <laughs> there so I mixed it I feel like it needs a little bit more of the polvito but that's fine Ta -da! can you see that I feel like my eyes look a little bigger I was gonna do a black lipstick but last time I did the Coraline um, inspired makeup I did black lipstick so I was like uh, I'm gonna do nude this time you cannot really see the button i corrected it and this is the look do i remind you of Coraline? <laughs> guys thank you so much for tuning in to wicked wednesday with desi leslie i hope you guys have a spooky day a spooky week a spooky month um thank you for being here looking at my face hearing my voice um if you made it through the whole video thank you so much i really appreciate it really i do and also if you did not like this video i'm very sorry it is my first time telling stories so please be a little patient with me so that does it all for today thank you so much please come again next week for wicked wednesday with bessie leslie have a nice day bye guys